What's up, Nightwalkers? I've got a quick one for you guys today. Recently, I got my hands on this Kiji K13, and I still have the Kiji K110, so I'm gonna show you some night vision video of these two side by side. K13, power level four. K13, power level four, diffuser. K13, power level one. Power level one, diffuser. K110, power level four. K110, power level four, diffuser. K110, power level one. K110, power level one, diffuser. Three and diffuser. Back to ten. They look pretty similar. Three. Ten. K one three low with diffuser. K110 low and diffuser. Three. Ten. You put the ten on high and diffuser. You can see the wider flood with the 10. As you can see from the videos, uh, these two different Kijis serve two completely different roles. And so K13, you know, this is gonna be on your gun, no question. And so without the diffuser cap on there, you get the nice hotspot, put the cap on there for 10 degrees, which is basically a K110 without the 40 degree cap capability on it. So K13 on a gun. Uh, K110, uh, this is gonna be uh, best suited for an infrared illuminator on a helmet, you know? So, and that's because with the 40 degree diffuser cap, that's gonna give you a great field of view. Um, that's gonna completely take up your image with traditional night vision devices like PVS 14s, PVS 31s, you know, devices like that, whether you have one tube or two tubes, you're only gonna get one 40 degree circle for your view. You know, obviously you got GP and VGs and panel bridges, uh, but still 40 degrees is gonna be fantastic on those as well. Uh, so anyways, uh, let's wrap it up again. K13 on a gun, K110 on your helmet. And I hope this video helps you guys out and thanks for watching.